Hi there everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. In today's video, we are going to take a look at um, different um, permanent inks for fountain pens. So I've had them for a while because I like to test um, the waterproofness of these inks and I thought that today is a good day to actually review them. So welcome if you are new to my channel. I do fountain pen reviews. I also do some ink, some paper, anything related to writing and journaling. So welcome and feel free to check out, you know, my other videos. So we have five different inks that we are going to test today. And I'm going to swatch them so you can see uh, what they look like. And we're also going to um, test the waterproofness of this ink. And as well as show you some writing samples um, in a bit. Alright, so without further ado, let's just get to it. So, um, I have my um, old journal. Um, this is Take a Note Planner. And I'm using basically some blank pages to swatch um, some of these uh, fountain pen inks. And we are going to start off with... Um, this first one here. This one is called um, Octopus Write and Draw um, ink and the shade is Red Turtle. Alright, I'm gonna get some swab and we are going to start. I really love the red shade of this ink because I love red shades um, for whatever reason. So we are going to zoom this in so you can see this clearly. And what uh, made me interested in this ink is um, you know if you're writing something important you want it to stay that way you want it to last you don't want it to fade right so um, I think one time I was um, writing something in my notebook and then my uh, hand um, was still a little bit wet and 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 I, and I held my notebook and I ran my finger across the page and it just moved and and it uh, i can't see you know the writing on there and i'm like i don't want that anymore i want you know something that is more permanent so i did end up uh, i did uh, uh ink my um uh fountain pen this is Gina how 82 and this is inked up with the same so let me write the name here this is by um octopus um right and draw ink and this one is in the shade um, red turtle okay all right so what i notice about these inks they're a little bit more thick than regular fountain pen inks you know like those dye inks when it comes to consistency they're really like thin like water this one, for whatever reason, seems a little bit thicker, okay? So, we are going to wait um, for this to dry completely, and then later on, we are going to do some tests to see the waterproofness of this ink. So, that is the Octopus Write and Draw Red Turtle. So, really rich um, red. It leans um, more um, rose a little bit, I think, okay? Um, but, but that's what it looks like. So the next thing that we are going to swatch is the Platinum Pigment Blue. Now this is a rich um, blue ink and um, I did not have this in a pen. Um, so I'm just going to use my um, uh, lip pen um, to, to, to write with it. So this is what that looks like. So this is really nice as well. Okay. And I'm going to use my Hokuro um, dip pen to write with it. Okay. And I am actually using, you know, cheaper pens um, uh, for these inks. And the reason is because this one needs a little bit more maintenance than regular fountain pen ink. So this one is Platinum Pigment Ink. And this is just in the blue shade. Okay. So that's what it looks like. As you can see, like a classic um, blue ink. The next thing we're going to do is something 
similar to that, another blue shade. This is again from Octopus Write and Draw. Um, this one is called Gray Fox. Okay, and this is more of like um, like a muted blue or like a navy blue ink. Um, if you have the Pilot Friction um, navy blue uh, pen, like a roller ball or a gel pen, I think the shade is very similar um, to that. So this this is more of like a grayish, bluish black type of ink. Okay. This one I had it in my Quebec. Uh sport. Okay. Yeah, this is what it looks like. This is again octopus. Right? And draw. Now I forgot um which country make this. I think it's Germany, but don't quote me on that. I'm gonna have to look that up. Right and draw, and this is in gray. Fox. This is such, you know, a lovely, lovely, like dark, dark gray, like like bluish gray, almost um kind of ink. It does look like blue black um to me, but but that's what this one looks like. The next thing, uh, the next one I'm gonna do is, um, let's do a, a purple ink. So this one is from Write and Draw again. This one is called um, Violet Raccoon. And this is very similar to the Red Turtle um, in terms of, you know, the, the, the ink uh, color. But this one leans a little bit more on the purple side. Okay, this looks a little reddish purple mauve color this for whatever reason reminds me of the sailor uh, yozakura ink and later i'll show you some writing sample and you'll see exactly you know what i'm talking about um for this one i'm going to use my uh, jean how i do and let's write the name here again this is by octopus now this one is i think the thinner or maybe the thinnest of the inks that I sampled. Um, as you can see over here on the writing sample, it, it looks a little bit more pale. Um, and I don't know why, but it dries to a very nice, you know, uh, mauve purple um, color. This is Violet Raccoon, and, it, and probably also it's because of my pen. I don't know. So maybe it's a combination of those. Maybe this pen is not a good pen for that. Okay. Yeah. So that's um, Violet um, Raccoon. Okay. I could see some shading in there too. So I would say that it, this one shades um, pretty well um, as well. So let us um, do uh, the last one. I'm going to do uh, five inks at a time. So this is going to be my part one. And then watch out for my next video. I'm going to do the next five inks that I have because I don't want my video to be too long. This one is from, let me see here, uh, Roar and Clinger um, Sketch Ink. Oh, I love the shade of this ink. This is like a beautiful um, olive green color from the Sketch um, Ink line. And this is also um, suitable for uh, fountain pens. And I am actually wanting to test um, whether I can actually use these inks to use as watercolor. I have yet to try that. Okay, so let me write the name here. This is um, Roar and Clinger. Don't you just love this shade? This is just nice. Clinger. And this is the Sketch ink. Okay. And this one is in the shade Emma. I think this one is named after their employee or something because there are different names associated to um, different colors. But this is what I plan to do for now and to review this first um, five inks. And then there's going to be a part two in this video where you would see the remaining five um, waterproof inks that I sampled. All right, so let's zoom out so you can see them clearly all at once, you know, in the same page. And um, tell me which of these do you uh, prefer the most. So I really like, you know, this um, raccoon, you know, um, violet raccoon. I really love this um, Emma Roar and Klinger um, olive green. They're all really nice. 
So what I'm going to do is maybe leave this here for now and allow this to dry completely. And then later we're going to do some water tests to kind of see um, whether it comes off when it gets wet. So um, for now, uh, we're going to come back to this, but I'm going to show you some writing sample. Um, so you know exactly how this ink uh, lay on paper uh, when you write with them. So I have here my... Um, this is actually a notebook. Um, this is from uh, Tomoy River. This is the Nami uh, notebook. And I've written recipes. <laughs> you know, if you have a recipe that you like and you don't want to, you know, use your phone or something like that to read it, I think it's best if you have it written down. So this one is written using uh, the gray fox um, from um, Octopus. Uh, write and draw ink. So let me zoom this in. This looks dark and it does look a little bit more black, but it's not. It is actually more like a navy uh, blue, navy blue. Okay, and there you can see, you know, the the name of the ink that I that I um, used. So that is the octopus write and draw um, gray fox. So let's see the other ones. This is what let me zoom this in. Um, the platinum, this is platinum pigment blue ink, and I think use um, my Hokoro, Hokoro dip pen for writing this. And you have the pigment blue, okay, and there are little swatch as well. So that's what um, the ink um, looks like on paper um, when you write with it. All right, so moving on to the next one, this is the um, octopus write and draw violet raccoon. So as you can see, it does look more like mauveish, and it reminds me a lot of the Sailor um, Yuzakura ink. Um, it does look a little pale compared to the other inks, but but it has a you know beautiful color you know to it. Okay, and when I wrote this, I wrote it with my um, fountain pen. Uh, no, no, uh, I wrote it with Sailor Hokoro um, dip pen. So how thick? or how pale this is on your notebook would depend also on the ink flow of the fountain pen that you are using. So just so you know um, what this looks like, that's what that looks like. So now moving on to the Roar and Clinger, Emma. Okay, this one is our nice shade of green and I, I like it so much that I want to use it as a paint. So I am starting to, you know, go back painting watercolors and I really like botanicals you know leaves flowers and such and such so I, I love this shade of green okay so that's what um, it looks like on the page and then again I have the name of the ink here written down and again I was using a deep pen you know when I wrote this and then finally we have the the red um, turtle from octopus write and draw so this one is written using the Jinhao ready to um, find nib that does not look fine at all. It does look medium, but this is a nice um, shade of red. I really, really love it. Okay, it leans more, I don't know, sometimes it think, I think it leans more maroon, sometimes I think it leans more pink, I don't know. But, but that's um, what it looks like, you know, when you um, write um, with it. So I don't know if this is already like dry, but you know, I'm I am going to wait a little bit more until it's um until it's um completely dry and then we shall come back and test um the results. Okay. Alright everyone, I am back. So I think this one is dry already. Okay. So we shall do the water test now. And I'm going to zoom this in so you can see clearly what's going on. So I do have my uh, brush pen I just got this from Aliexpress and this is basically for calligraphy I think if you want to um, fill it up with calligraphy ink or something like that and you can use this but I don't have any calligraphy ink um, in in this I just put some water because we're just going to do a water test um, for this okay so let us get started what I'm gonna do is um going to brush this okay with water 
And I don't know if I can... How, yeah, there, there it is. I want to tilt this paper so you can actually see, all right, that I am brushing it with water. As you, you can see the sheen in there, you know, from the water. And as you can see, this holds, okay? It does not um, move at all. So it means that this is um, waterproof, okay? And as you can see, it still remains there. The writing is as clear and as crisp as before. And this is going to be uh, great because, you know, if you want your writing to become permanent in your notebook, then this is the way to go. I absolutely love this. So if you are writing something important, something that you don't want to fade away, so, um, you know, definitely, definitely um, check this out. Now, here I have the Platinum Pigment Ink, and I don't know if this is permanent or not, but they say pigment inks are, so let's do the same thing, okay, ooh, whoa, okay, so let's tilt the paper so you see that there it is wet in there, um, there is a little bit of movement, okay, uh, on, the, on the page, I did see, I don't know if you can see it, but I did see a little bit of staining, you know, like, it's a little bit of ink coming off but again as you can see this one is very wet you know on this page and it does hold okay it, ha it does hold up so as you can see this is also you know permanent awesome so if you like the shade definitely check this out so let's do the the octopus write and draw ink now um this is gray fox sometimes also it depends on you know the color of the pigment so i am doing the gray fox now and this is water again i'd like you to see the sheen of the water there so you know exactly that it's wet and you can see that there is no movement there all right so the the, the ink stays put and and it does not come off and that is fantastic don't you think so now let's go to the next one which is the violet raccoon i'm gonna do the same thing this one looks very pale though in, com com in com compared to the other inks but as you can see this is fairly wet and it holds up okay there is a good shading to it um depending on how you write and like as mentioned here okay it does not move as well so this is also you know a permanent ink and then finally, we'll have the Roar and Clinger Sketch Ink, um, Emma. So let's um, test that with water and see what that looks like. Again, I am going to tilt the page so you guys can see clearly that there is water in there. It's actually wet, as you can see the sheen, you know, or the shine, I should say, coming from the water, you know, the wet water. And again... You know, no movement there. So you can definitely, you know, write with these inks. You can definitely draw, you know, with these inks. And they will not move. You can color on top of them. And they will stay the same. So the thing that I would like to know though is, yeah, although this is waterproof as tested, um, I want to know if this is light fast as well. Light fast means, you know, whether it's going to fade uh, when exposed to light something like that i don't know but pigments in general are light fast but then again it depends on what kind of pigment they are so what do you think of this video if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed already don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment you know what do you think of this video what are your favorites and you know i love hearing from you guys and um yeah thank you very much for watching have a good day bye